G'day. I wanted to do a video explaining a gearbox configuration which features in a number of my designs and explain why I think it is unique and where it could be of benefit to contemporary designs. At least I've not yet found another example of this technique. It's really a combination of old ideas but also taking it back to first principles and re-evaluating the constraints of the system where existing designs tend to build on conventional wisdom of planetary gear systems and introduce further combinations or modifications from this established starting point. I want to take it back a step further and see what we can do. I don't want to get too math heavy in this video. Uh, I'll place some links in the description, but there is a one constraint in particular that conventional planetary gear systems must satisfy that relates to the number of teeth uh, in the sun, planet and ring gears. Uh, R equals S plus 2P. Uh, which is required for matching tooth pitch, or the number of teeth per unit circumference. We'll be keeping the other soft constraint where R plus S is evenly divided by the number of planets. Um, this ensures evenly spaced planets, which will make life much easier. Uh, similar layouts include the compound planetary gears features by Ross in the Gear Down for Watt channel, uh, where two entirely conventional planetary gear systems are stacked with slightly different gear ratios, uh, with fused uh, planet gears, um, but split sun and ring gears. Um, more physically similar to these are those which have the same tooth count on both the sun uh, and planet gears. Um, but stretch the ring gear of the second stage by the same number of teeth as planets. So if we have five planets, they'll stretch it by five teeth. Uh, these allow for fused sun and planet gears uh, with split ring gears. Uh, a key point here is that we're no longer meshing teeth of gears with the same pitch. So that previous constraint isn't as important. Uh, the other key point which seems to have been missed is that we no longer need to start with the old R equals S plus 2P constraint and stretch by a whole number of planets. We can start with pretty much any combination, any approximation, uh, and stretch it so that R plus S is a multiple of the planet count. This opens up a world of possible gear combination and allows us to introduce further constraints like fused sun and planet gears and combining the previously mentioned techniques. So as an example, instead of starting with a valid planetary arrangement with three planets and stretching one of the ring gears by three for the second stage, we could in fact start in the middle, where we only need to compress the primary and stretch the secondary by one tooth in each ring, uh, keeping the same radius, uh, resulting in less distortion overall for a similar result. Uh, the basic formula is to pick a planet tooth count for each stage. Uh, for fused sun gears, this implies the ratio of the sun to planets is the same in both stages, which is to say the sun gear is just some fixed multiple of each planet. Uh, next, we start with the approximate R equals S plus 2P ring gear and stretch or compress it by whatever is required to make R plus S a multiple of the planet gear count. Uh, throw it all in a spreadsheet and brute force our way uh, to our desired gear ratio. Uh, this is not groundbreaking in itself, uh, but combining these techniques um, gives us greatly more freedom to choose other parameters like uh, gear ratio. So uh, we can have quite, quite high gear ratios, for example. Uh, planet count. Uh, to distribute force, we can have many more planets if we desire. Um, or we could miniaturize. Um, so opening up combinations which weren't previously valid planetary systems, uh, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. That should be enough detail to introduce the main idea and give you a few links to further reading. I've published a few examples like these on my Thingy First page, link below. Uh, all include my uniquely atrocious OpenSCAD source if you want to roll your own for specific requirements or just take the tooth counts from the spreadsheets into your own design. Thanks for coming.